What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to kind of round off, round off happened last time, I repelled just a few Hanoverian attacks against um, the Netherlands. And yeah, they've, they are just horrendously stupid last time. Um, but yeah, things seem to be going okay. I've not got much money because Courland is blockading my ports. Oh, and they've got some fourth rates as well, so I can't even rely on breaking out. They got fifths. Yeah, so I've not got the naval the naval uh, ability to actually push out. I'll keep movement range. Hmm. Yeah, if I can knock out Hanover, that would secure my eastern flank because I'm not at war with everyone in anyone in Europe. Except for Poland, but Poland's going to Poland, I guess. Um... I'm fairly sure I did this last time, but Chris Peace here have these economics ones. Well, that was worth doing for sure. I mean, I don't like generally don't like giving people tech, but you know that seemed like a good investment. Um, how am I going to attack? I'd like to knock them out alone, actually, so I might do that. Yeah, smash them independently. So now instead of... Oh, maybe even send out... Those to quell the last of the Dutch rebellion. Get them back inside. Can't repair that. But I'm now in a much better position for this stack to push south and then my this stack to maybe range east against Hanover. So if I move my rake up here to have a look at Hanover. I need to keep an eye on this stack. Because these guys aren't enough to stop them, not themselves. Um, but yeah, let's do that in turn. Intern and see what happens. Oh, don't, don't. Good. Thank Christ. They don't, don't declare on me, Britain. Please don't. That's like, let me secure Europe first, then I can fight you. Claire, how does that sound? Might try to trade some techs with Spain to try to get some naval ones. I don't trade techs enough, particularly with people I shouldn't have to worry about. So, oh, so you to kind of ram it home, you know. Could you imagine me doing this but not having all that trading come from the Americas? That's what was happening in the last playthrough, and it was grim. It was really grim. Oops, the Cherokee are... They might have exposed Upper Louis. Oh, good. Even more trading come for a turn. Nope, Cherokee did not expose Upper Louisiana. Yep, so they're going to take Lower Louisiana. Um, but I can still push on. Also resolve that, because why not? Hell, I might even push my army east to capture Hanover. Then they've just got that single stack. Because I don't know how many troops they'll have in Hanover. They might but they well good. Oh I made peace with them, so it doesn't really matter anyway, does it? But I can now repair Utrecht to get more research, research techs, which is good because I don't know if I've lost the advantage or not. Probably have. Mm, that's uh, that's frustrating. Seven thousand, good. That was the only port I had blockaded that turn as well. Army. How's your army looking? Ripe for that taking. Maintain for now because I'm not really bothered about you. I just want to shunt along to the next stop. Repair your dock, repair your school, 
repair your body house. Can this army leave the Netherlands and you not freak out? It can! Let's run a guerrilla unit forward. Hmm. Definitely want them upwind as a bit of an early warning. And then let's take you, replenish you again, get ready for the drive south. Leon will develop in 10 turns, and Leon is. I can't remember where Leon is. There. Dangerously close to the Savoy border, and they're still recruiting loads of guys. Um, how about now? Can I. Not you two. Not, none of the minor nations I want to make peace with. Why? It's such a dumb war, you guys. Why are you doing this? Could run them on, but I'd like them to come out. Actually, I'll move them up a bit more. To be ready. Could like to have a few turns of replenishment, then I'll lay siege. Oh god, I have no garrison here. Zero garrison, because I think they hate me so much. I think you definitely need to go back here. Just in case. Because they could feasibly come around this way or come around this way to attack me. So they'll probably knock down the school. But if they do, um, I will force them to do battle because the school's within my yellow range. Up here... Replenish what you can. Because they are fairly knackered up here. I don't want to push them on too hard. 100% Catholicism. Perfect. So let's get you down to the Iroquois territory to start converting them. End turn. I'm just a bit uncomfortable with that massive Württemberg stack. Good. Good old Spain actually doing something for once. <laughs> Russia. It's going to be Prussia, Poland. Swedes push on to take Norway though. Yeah, see, I want. Oh, I wanted to. Ooh, yes, get in there, Louisiana. I wanted to do more trade route stuff, but right now I'm just getting so I'm getting hammered on land. I'm probably not optimising my conflicts as well as I could be, but I'm getting hammered is significantly enough that I don't quite like the idea of suddenly going all in on a navy right now. I want to secure Europe, secure myself in the Americas, and then... Oh, God, look at that. Okay, so they've left the door open for me to attack Hanover... Could be a trick. Send no reply. Gonna go for it. Gonna go for Hanover. Uh, might not assault it because it's got massive fortifications. Might just let them, let them sally. Um, yeah, it's massive fortifications. I don't have cannons, so the amount of like the amount of times I just screwed over the. Oh, I forgot about the Leeward Islands. Whoop. Yeah, you saw how I was absolutely massacring. Oh, naval shore facilities. Don't really need that. I may as well just let them keep ticking on, I guess. Upgrade my port dockyard, because I want to expand that. Fix that. And fix the farms. Yes, the Netherlands are finally coming around. So, level one forts. But still, that's enough. Yep, that's enough. 
These are enough to knock me down, knock me back. I might even pull back a bit. Get some more replenishment off, because some of my line units are very weak. You stay there for now, and replenish. And I can finally, finally make some investments. So get the new barracks and the new artillery to prompt new tech. Let's go down here. Can't build anything, can't build anything here. Do I need roads? No, roads are excellent. Yeah, just let them, just let them sit. They'll attack me in a turn. Agent recruited Rake in France. Agent Rake. Jean-Baptiste Argenson, go down to Savoy. No way, don't, don't go to Savoy. Go get this guy, assassinate him. How are you growing? 14 per turn, it's okay. So I'm building the new barracks, get the fireway rank. Let's hold on to this money for now. I know, I forgot about this. Fix this so I can export, start exporting via Quebec. And then let's build new cannon foundry in mm -hmm. Quebec so that I can um, build new guns if they're needed. Because Britain's inevitably going to declare on me. They're not building this army for nothing. I've even got Marines! Range on the Worcester, Reg Worcester Regiment. Okay. Guerrillas. Don't need, not going to bother replenishing them. I mean, French has no religious penalties, but just for completeness, I like the idea of Paris being <laughs> Paris being one hundred percent Catholic. Okay, so let's sit here. Ready and turn. Yeah. Oh, oh. Just skip straight on past. Don't do anything stupid. I gave you a territory. It's got to give us some happy points. I know at some level the AI stops caring about happy points, but I care, damn it. Okay. Whew. Spain clearing up the trade routes. Go on, finish the pirates off. Oh, I'm going to be getting, going to get attacked by the pirates now, aren't I? Again. <laughs> yeah, not the pirates out. Then that'll be super handy. Um. Hmm. Okay, so they're going to keep. They're going to start threatening up Louisiana again. Are these guys going to finish off the army? They are. Go get them, Louisiana. Recalling all their forces. Go take up Louisiana back. Don't move. Good. I've got time. I've got time to... Uh... Oh, fine. Take it. Oh. Yes, I am definitely going to intercept. I'm going to force you to attack me. Because <laughs> you have no guns. Because I will, I will take it back eventually. Uh, units will just... They're mainly there to... Not capturing Jamaica and the Bahamas. Um, I'm not bothered about fighting a pitched battle against... An actual major faction just yet. At least not in that sense. Not in that part of the world. I've already got to worry about... If I capture Hanover, I've got a border with... Prussia. Okay, so let's get... Oh god, alive. this is just... This isn't just this is just not gonna be fair. Okay, let's get everyone. Get everyone there, artillery. In the rare event they get a breach, these guys will position themselves to fill it. Less infantry, so I'm going to prioritise manning the artillery positions first. Put 
some down as leakers. So this might be a case where I end up having to reorientate my troops rather than just filling the entire fortress up with them. Just because I think it will be funny. Oh, they're not letting me do it. I want to just box them up, hit, stretch them out, like, in this gap. Like that. <laughs> and then do the same with these guys. Then just out of the ready. <laughs> and who's left? Penny packets of units and some cavalry. A lot of cavalry. Okay, so they're all over here. Alright, so relocate this guy to the west. See, if I had mortars, I could fire over the walls to attack them. So mortars can be very... Mortars and howitzers can be very good f fortress defence weapons. Um, sadly, I don't have them. I just have these demi cannons. Yeah, I didn't... This is worth doing because they've attacked my... Oh, see, do I sally out? Once I've knackered their, f their infantry, do I start deploying troops out here to draw their cavalry in? shoot the cavalry to bits. Oh, that's got... That definitely hit someone in the head. Ooh, Légion Britannique foot. These must be foot guards units. And they're gone. And they're gone. Yeah, there you go. See, this is what happens when you put the... This is why pikes can just look so brilliant. You put them in formation. As soon as anyone comes through that gate, they will stand their ground. Some more Legion Britannique foot. Utterly ravaged. If I catch a Hanover, I'm going to put a small garrison, like a decent garrison, in it to protect it from Prussian attack. It's going to be my breakwater in Europe. Then go down south, capture Savoy, and Savoy will cover that flank. Which will be very useful indeed. See, so shattered, so they're not coming back. These guys are still confident, even though. Oh, they're, they're, they're actual foot infantry, line infantry rather. Full strength line infantry too. I suppose they're primarily... Ooh, that might have... Oh, they're missed. Wavering and they've not taken a single casualty. See if I can goad the cavalry into attacking. If I can do that. That would be ideal. I am opening the gates, so they will be fired upon, but I suspect these guys will probably rout. So my guys on the walls are enough cover. And if they do attack my pikes, my pikes, then... They're in for... 
quite a shock. Good. So I can get my pikes into position to provide a tasty target for the Hanoverian cavalry. Because the AI may decide that even though may decide that they are the best target to attack. More classic Europe. Uh, Empire Total War. Some guys are stuck on the walls. So if I make them go into formation, will they actually do it? Not really. Okay, so that square, that infantry unit's coming back. But they should get chewed up by my pikes, because pikes are tops, and these guys don't have bayonets. Shattered. Are the cavalry going to deploy? No. So let's pick. Um. Let's run my gendarmerie out. The reason why I want I want to lure them into the fight is that if I can kill enough of them, then I will move this army out of the fort and chase them down and then attack Westphalia. That is why I'm keen to lure them into battle within range of the walls. So if I can run out. There we go. Yep, they are charging. So sit my cavalry bring my pikes forward a smidge. Ah, oh, nuts. That was going to be so good. They still have no theoretical way in. I mean, I left the gate open, but all I have to do is just not move a unit through it and it closes. So I guess that was the angle they were going for. Still. Devastating enough that I think I will follow them up. Oh, that's not good. Because they're just going to be super lame. Unless I build, unless I fortify that area. Which is possible. Defending against force of pirate attackers. I'm going to get up in their faces. Um, I've been deploying of mortars. And I've only got half a stack. Why not just get stuck in? Um, oh, I just really don't want to get screwed over with mortars. This is my only force hopping around. Um, taking islands, so I don't want to risk them too much. Burned so much by mortars, I just really don't want to... just don't want to take the risk. So... Don't have fire by rank, so I'm gonna stretch them out. Whoop. Don't know if you heard that, but a video is finished rendering. Pikes behind here. Ah, you thought I oh no. Right, okay. There goes that plan. They've aggressively deployed their mortars, so. Up you go, or else I'm just going to get shot to bits. 
Where's my cav? You come straight out here already. Yeah, oh god. Who are they targeting? This guy? Oh my, they missed! Ah! They have one unit of... Oh yeah, they're all out here. Um... Oh god, they actually... Oh no, wait. I'm used to having pikemen, pike units with like 300. No, not alone. Even with their horrible accuracy. Again, the melee. I need this to be gone. Yeah, see, they've already made unit of infantry route so get my pikes in or get my run my cavalry round actually Run at a unit of line infantry through the gap. Go for the go for the guns. They've left a nice tasty hole. Yeah, they've made, successfully made my cavalry route. These cannons is just devastating. Good. Everyone broken except for this unit, which they're going to get smacked into by all of my cav chopped to bits. Excellent. Oh god, that probably wasn't helpful at all. Like, artillery firing it well into the rear. Good. God. Lost more men than I planned on doing there. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building farm. Yep, will do. How much would it cost of five grand to read to fix you all? In theory, actually, where's my fleet? Ah, I ooh. So this is an interesting proposal. Take my muskemen. Put them on my ships. Um, on I have my navy do this. So if I do this, I might be able to next turn push them out into the port while they're still embarked on a sloop in a jebek. And then destroy them. Destroy the shipyard. Now oh, they've got good roads. Barber. Push you guys out to attack them. 
Yeah, that's a nice, simple battle. I can actually pin them down. One unit of mortars, so I deploy back. And actually pull back. Recruit general. Let's get some... Get some artillery up. You guys aren't so much of a worry. I mean, you're slightly depleted now, but... A few turns. A few turns of uh, attrition on their side. It's got to be good for me. Diplomacy. She has to go back to here. Still haven't graded the schools. So that's going to start to choke tech development. How does the construction go? Two turns each. Cool. That's handy. Right. End turn. I don't think he killed him. <laughs> it's the British Navy. I think I might have to declare war on Württemberg. Eventually. Because um, once I've knocked out Hanover, Württemberg sat there just accumulating troops on my border. Unless I end the alliance with them and force them to kick their troops out of my border. So then if they want to attack me, they have to cross into my land. Cross into my land without military access, which would trigger war. But I'd get the same amount of turns warning as if I didn't. <laughs> so what does it really change? Not much. Oh, Louisiana, don't sit back. Push. Push up. I think I suppose I need to get some for a few more turns of recruiting I should expand that army to the south actually as well. Get some more troops down there. Hanover, sallied forth. Radio. But looking at the clock, I think that's a fight for the next uh, next part. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.